What's up everybody, this is Chris, aka Barna11970. Thank you for watching this video. Let's get into the solution of the problem. Many people ask this very same question that I've been asking for the past two and a half, three years once I started to learn what was going on. Now that I've learned as much as I've learned, I've pretty much found the answer. And it may not be what you want to hear, but it's going to be the only way we can get out of this system of being slaves. Not the way you've been programmed to believe that word is. One thing we have to make sure that we understand is I know there are people who watch this stuff and been following it for a while. It may not necessarily be from my channel. They le might have learned it from uh, Max Egan or even Alex Jones or Santos Bonacci or Dean Clifford or numerous other different people. We have to understand that we are a minority that know this. And so many people, I get emails all the time or I get comments all the time saying, oh, well, we already understand this, so what do we do? Well, a few people may know this. A few thousand people may know this. Maybe 100,000, maybe 200,000 know this. But considering there are 7 billion people in the world, the majority of people don't know. So until we awaken the masses on what's going on, nothing will get changed. That's why nothing ever does get changed. And this is one of the reasons why governments throughout the world do everything they can to distract you. It's called divide and conquer. So they'll talk about things. They'll focus on things like gay marriage. They will focus on things like abortion. They will focus on things like black and white issues. They will focus on things that will get you angry and get you divided. This is how you get out of this matrix. The only reason the Constitution exists and works to this day, no matter how many times they've rewritten it, the fact that it's been rewritten is irrelevant. Any document goes by the consent of the governed. Now, consent means you either agree, disagree, or say nothing. But here's the funny part. The only one that will change it is the disagreeing. The other two are the same. So the fact that you agree or, uh, and the fact that you say nothing they're both the same. So you have a two against one. You agree with it, you say nothing about it. This one is you disagree with it. Well, two outweigh the one, consent of the governed. So the reason that our document, our Constitution, which went from the Constitution for the United States of America, or the Union States of America, to the Constitution of the United States, which is a corporation, is because we didn't say we don't want to do it, we mostly said nothing because we didn't know. But that is still under law, consent of the governed. So how do we get out of this matrix? First thing we have to do is share videos like this. It doesn't have to be mine. This is not an ego thing. Don't kill the messenger. I don't care who it is. I don't care if you remix this. I don't care if you make a video on your own. I don't care if you use 50,000 other people. This is not about me. But until we get the people of this United States corporation to wake up and realize what they've done through their silence, which is not our fault once we don't know. Once we do know, it's our responsibility. And that's why our government will do as much as they can to scare you, frustrate you, anger you, and distract you from knowing the truth. That the only reason that government that works in that corporation known as the United States, has its power is because we give them the power through our silence. We don't argue it. So until we work together, nothing is going to change because one person can't fix it. Ron Paul isn't going to fix it. Okay, um, Ted Cruz is not going to fix it. Jesse Ventura is not going to fix it. George Washington, if he was alive today, couldn't fix it. Okay, Superman, if he was a real person and had the powers that he had, could not fix it alone because that is not the consent of the masses. So until we get more than half of the people that are registered voters under the corporation of the United States to say we no longer consent, then nothing will ever change. And yes, it is that simple. It's not simple because of their divide and conquer. Get people fighting amongst themselves. Get people to focus on other things. 
Why do you think so many people know more about Miley Cyrus's twerking than they do about their own constitution? Why do you think people know more about Brett, Brett Favre's passing yardage than they know about the banking industry? Why do you think people know about what's going on in Access Hollywood than they do about their own government? It's because you are meant to be distracted. They see you as fools. When are you going to prove them wrong? Because as long as we do not understand their terminology and we remain trapped in their system, we are technically doing it to ourselves. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. So if you don't know the fact that the word citizen by legal definition means that you are now subject to the jurisdiction of the corporation known as the United States, then you can't do anything about it. And because the Constitution, regardless of what Constitution it is, because somebody made a very good comment, and I, I know about this, that they said the uh, 13th Amendment that they talk about here is not the original. Well, that's irrelevant, because it doesn't matter if this was done 5,000 times. This document here stands. So it doesn't matter what the original one was. We're no longer consenting to that one. We're consenting to this one. So as long as we remain silent, and as long as we all fight and make fun of each other, and focus on ourselves and our individuals, nothing's going to change, nothing's going to get done. So if you want the solution, guess what, America? You have to get up and you have to get everybody that you can to understand this so we can go to the government and say, we no longer consent. One person can't do it. Ten people can't do it. A hundred thousand people can't do it. We need one more person than the total amount of people in the United States. When you divide it in half, if we have one more person, then we are now the masses. We are now the governed. And if we all at once say we no longer consent, then they have no choice. It's that simple. But until we do that, they're going to keep making up fake wars, fake news. They're going to pay people millions and billions of dollars to entertain and distract you. So you remain, through your silence, consented to be a slave. Because that's all that is. The 13th Amendment says slavery is defined as involuntary servitude. Involuntary. That means they can't just take you and make you do something. But because they tricked us with words that we didn't understand, we did it to ourselves. It becomes voluntary servitude because we did it through our silence. We're not arguing it. So this constitution is promoting slavery and getting away with it because it's not involuntary. Do you like being a slave because they tricked you with words you didn't understand? This is why the government owns the education system. They're not going to tell you what to do to escape their criminal situation. So here you go, America. Here you go, United States Corporation. Here you go, all the people who say that they know how to get out of this or they know about this stuff. Here's your answer. When we get half of the people plus one to all learn what happens and we say we no longer consent, then this fake constitution that they created that went from the Constitution for the United States of America or Union States of America to the Constitution of the United States, which is a corporation, until we decide it no longer is functional because we no longer consent to it, it's not going to change. So when we all decide we no longer consent to being voluntary slaves, there's nothing else that can be said. So that means you are responsible for helping. You're responsible for your actions. If you want to keep fighting, you want to keep making fun of people like me or other people, you want to keep worrying about what's going to happen at the Super Bowl or who's going to be the next American Idol, then you have no right to complain because now that you know and you choose to stay silent, you have voluntarily consented and voluntarily given your servitude to a corporation known as the United States. So here's where it's going to be. And if you have children, maybe you want to hide this part now. Get off your ass, 
share this video or someone else's video or make your own video. And when we get at least half the uh, people in the United States who are registered to vote or considered U.S. citizens to say we no longer consent, nothing is fixed. What do you want to do about it? Peace. I'm waiting for the rest of you.